today. Today's vignette, I'd like to discuss the train of four monitor and the train of four stimulation. Uh, typically, we'll use a neuromuscular stimulator to assess the degree of our non depolarizing neuromuscular blockade, whether we're in the ICU or most frequently in the operating room. Now, many of my students uh, are tested on this concept, but they truly never appreciate what it's trying to tell them. And so this video, I will attempt to clarify what exactly this uh, concept is and what it means. So, what do you do? You take your train of four monitor, your little nerve stimulator, and typically you'll connect it to two electrodes that are along the ulnar nerve, and you'll monitor the twitch of the adductor pollicis brevis muscle. And if no one, or if a patient does not have a neuromuscular blocker on board, such as vecuronium, rocuronium, or cisatricurium, you're going to hit that train of four monitor, and it's going to be uh, four twitches separated by half a second, over two seconds. And you're going to see this response, right? You're going to see a full response for the first twitch, a full response for the second twitch, a full response for the third twitch, and a full 100% response for the fourth twitch. Because that's that patient's normal. That is 100% magnitude for that patient. But what do, we, what do we do? We give non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers, and then we assess the train of four stimulus. For example, you're going to intubate a patient, you're in the operating room, and you give the patient rocuronium. So you hit the train of force stimulus prior to giving your rocuronium, and you see your four full twitches. And now about 30 seconds later, you assess the twitch response, and what will you see? You might see a pattern such as this. Right? Where you begin to see the twitches, quote unquote, fade away. So this is known as fade, right? The fade from the non-depolarizer. Now there's still four twitches, one, two, three, four, but what does this mean? We have four twitches, yes. But our train of four ratio is going to be the magnitude of our fourth twitch divided by the magnitude of our first twitch. And in this particular example, we can see our fourth twitch is 30% of its magnitude, and our first twitch was 100% still of its magnitude. So our ratio here is 30% over 100%, or our ratio here is 0.3. That is our train of four ratio. I hope you're all seeing this, so let's do another example. Okay, so again, we had four twitches, but our train of four ratio was only the magnitude of our fourth twitch divided by the magnitude of our first twitch. So now let's look after a minute of your rocuronium, and now you might see this. And in this case, our fourth twitch is gone. And our first twitch is only 70% of its initial magnitude. We have three twitches. Okay. But our train of four ratio here, being T4 divided by T1, is equal to 0% divided by 70%, or zero. So in this instance, our train of four ratio is zero. Hope this makes a little bit more sense. So again, there's a train of four count, and then there's a train of four ratio. Now, our last example will be the one dealing with succinylcholine. Succinylcholine is a non, or I'm sorry, is a depolarizing neuromuscular blocker a depolarizing neuromuscular blocker. It acts differently than vecuronium, rocuronium, or cisatricurium. So they always say that the twitches will always be equal in magnitude. This is what they mean. 
So prior to giving your succinylcholine, you test the patient. They have no neuromuscular blocker on board. And you see all of your twitches are 100% of their magnitude. That is their normal response. But you get succinylcholine and maybe 30 seconds later you assess the twitches. And this is what you see with succinylcholine. Okay, oh, what, did I, what is this saying? I have four twitches. And my train of four ratio is one. What? Yes, it is one. It's 50% divided by 50%. T, T4 divided by T1. So that is how a succinylcholine block will appear. And this is known as a phase one blockade. Okay, so we had fade with the non-depolarizers and a phase one block with our succinylcholine. Well, usually if something has a term known as phase one, there's probably a phase two with it, and succinylcholine is no exception. So if you give too much succinylcholine or you have an extended infusion of succinylcholine, you might run into what's called a phase two block. And a phase two block could appear just like a non-depolarizing block with that fade. Right, so with sucks, this is a phase two block, succinylcholine. So I hope that this video is helpful. I hope you can use this pictorial to kind of visually understand what the train of four ratio is and how it differs from the train of four count. And as always, if you have any questions, please uh, email me at armygas at gmail.com.